Whether you're looking for a serious partner, like a girlfriend or a wife, or you're already in a committed relationship, this video is going to be extremely important for you because the truth is long-term relationships can be very hard. Even the ones that start off incredibly well often go sideways pretty fast. It's just a fact. And end up with infidelity, breakups, and divorces. And why does this happen? Well, there may be several factors, but in most cases, it's because of the six mistakes that I'm going to discuss today. You see, couples who make one or more of these six common mistakes often ruin their relationships without even knowing it. So it starts with the love and passion drowning out day by day, and then the relationship reaches its inevitable end. So my suggestion to you is if you ever wish to have a long lasting relationship with a beautiful girl of your choice, and you wanna be happy and fulfilled by that relationship, then you have to pay attention and watch this video to the very end and avoid these six common mistakes at all costs. Hi, I'm Marnie and from here on out, I'm gonna be your very own personal wing girl. Every week, I'm gonna give you the no BS insider information about what women really want versus what they say they want. Plus instantly effective methods to win over any girl that you like. So just hit that subscribe button now so that you never miss a video of mine. So here are the six common mistakes that destroy good relationships. Mistake number one, getting insecure. This is something many people do not talk about, but it is a huge killer of relationships. You see, many guys feel that they don't deserve to be with the women that they're with, and actually vice versa, women feel that way too. Like their partner is somehow better than them and could easily have or easily leave them for someone else. Now, this fear of not being good enough for your partner manifests in the real world in some really nasty ways, but the most, the two most important common ones are anxiety and jealousy, which typically plays out in the following ways. Worrying that your girl is losing interest in you, which is feeling threatened when she talks to another guy. Always concerned about where she is and what she's doing and snooping through her phone or computer. Comparing yourself to other guys she has been with in the past or even the guys that she's around now, thinking that she doesn't find you attractive anymore and so on and so on. These are all insecurities and what these acts of anxiety and jealousy do is make you paranoid and needy. And you always feel like you need reassurance about her liking you and her commitment to you. Then this neediness is what ultimately kills the relationship and drives the girl away. So what's the fix now? Well, honestly, I couldn't do an entire video on how to overcome insecurity in a relationship. That would take like, forever. In fact, if you'd like something like that, please let me know in the comments. But yeah, I don't want to leave you hanging. So I'll give you the most important thing that you could do, which is to remind yourself that she chose you for a reason. Just reinforce it every day. You didn't force her to be with you. You didn't manipulate her in any way. She chose you. You attracted her to you. She was drawn to you because you are good enough for her. So simply like reminding yourself of that totally helps. You are the man that she wants to be with. So what is the point of questioning it, right? All right, moving on to the next one. Mistake number two, comparing your partner to others. This is a big trap a lot of guys fall into. So generally, after that initial excitement of a relationship fades away, after the honeymoon phase, as they say, many guys begin to compare their partner to other girls out there. They start to judge their girl based on what they see around them. It's normal, but it's not beneficial to you and find faults and flaws that they didn't care about before. As you can probably guess, this can ruin a relationship pretty quickly because the moment you begin to focus on her flaws instead of highlighting her positives, it's the minute you begin to lose interest and kill your passion for her. You form a new picture of what the perfect girl looks like in your head and you demand that same perfection from your partner, which honestly doesn't exist, which of course she can't deliver. And that in turn makes you lose interest even more and to the point where you might consider ending the relationship and moving on to someone that you believe is better who will ultimately do the same thing. So here's the deal, this comparison thing isn't really your fault. It's a natural tendency for humans to think that the grass is greener on the other side. Again, totally normal. If you've made this mistake in the past or find yourself making it now, you're definitely not alone. I've done this a million times. I still do it from time to time. But now that you're aware of it, you'll need to understand one thing. Once you start comparing your girl to others, it's very easy to find faults in her. But at this point, you need to ask yourself three simple questions. 
Question number one, does this girl have similar values to you? Question number two, am I comfortable when I'm with her? Question number three, does she like me for who I am and make me a better person? Help me feel like a better person. If your answers to these questions are yes, yes, and yes, then you should accept her newly discovered flaws. Stop comparing her to others immediately and give your relationship a true chance. Because trust me, if you said yes to those three questions, or in the future say yes to those three questions, you're with someone who is a great match for you. And if you let the relationship develop more, chances are you will be very happy with it. Happier than you could have imagined. All right, moving on. Mistake number three, lack of physical intimacy. So many couples are guilty of this one, myself included, as the novelty of a relationship fades out, the physical intimacy, in into me. Intimacy starts to decrease, which means now there's much less touching, there's less kissing, there's less sex, there's less holding hands, there's less hugging and cuddling, all forms of physical contact compared to what it used to be. And as a result of this, the sexual or romantic spark in the relationship starts to die. That raw primal attraction that you felt for each other in the beginning just starts to vanish. When that happens, your relationship basically turns into a platonic friendship. The romantic element is lost. In fact, when people say, I don't feel attracted to my partner anymore, more often than not, it's because of this. They stopped touching each other. A lack of physical intimacy, which means if you want a long lasting relationship, a long lasting romantic relationship, you better touch each other more often. Hold hands, make out, have sex, dance together, cuddle in bed after a movie night. Basically, make an effort to be intimate physically. Only then you can sustain the sexual attraction in a relationship or else it is going to be lost. And with it, you might lose your partner as well. Okay, before I move on to mistake number four, I have a really quick request. If you like this video so far, please hit the like button or the subscribe button. Um, and it's going to help my channel grow, which I would really appreciate. And also make sure it reaches other guys who need it. So take a second, click that like button or the subscribe button now. Please do it. <laughs> I'll appreciate it a lot. All right, if you're done, let's move on. Mistake number four, lack of space. So research says that desire grows when given space. And that means if you spend a lot of time with your partner, doing things together, talking, hanging out, and you spend very little time apart, you're actually hurting your relationship. I know it seems counterintuitive, but desire as in the longing to be with another can actually only happen with space. If you're together all the time or most of the time, it can get really monotonous. I'm not even sure if I'm saying that word right, monotonous. And you'll get on each other's nerves. You'll need to give your partner the space to miss you, to think about you, which means you need to have other things in your life to focus on that are separate from your partner. It could be work or hobbies, hanging with friends, personal projects, whatever you like. But to keep the desire alive and strong, this is for men and women, you can't always be with your partner. Many couples make this mistake because they believe more time spent together equals a stronger relationship. But now you know that's not true. Yes, spending quality time together is crucial, but there has to be a balance, all right? Next one, mistake number five, routine behavior. And this is really simple. If you fall into a pattern like most couples do over time and with time, meaning if you have a date night only on Saturdays every week, or have no date nights at all, if you go to the same places every time that you go out, talk about the same stuff every day, see how boring this conversation is? Like that's how it feels. Do the same thing in bed over and over again. Basically, if your life turns into a predictable routine, then your relationship, no matter how perfect you are for each other, it's going to get boring. And what happens when you're bored. Well, you try to escape that feeling. You don't wanna be around it anymore, which in this case would be the escape from the relationship. This is when things really start to fall apart, when one partner or both are bored and start to feel that there is no excitement in the relationship anymore. That's really sad. It often leads to more arguments, fights, and other problems, making the relationship just completely unbearable. Now, the solution here, of course, is very Simple, but it requires deliberate effort from both parties, but I would love if the guy could lead this. You gotta break that pattern. Do things which are out of the ordinary for you. It doesn't even have to be something major. It could be something so little. Instead of sitting on the couch, do a puzzle together. It could be going to a restaurant that you've never been to before, going on a picnic out of the blue, bringing her a small gift like flowers or chocolates on a completely random day. 
taking uh, a fitness class together if you don't already do that trying out new positions in the bedroom like who doesn't like that basically the idea is to do things which are not routine things which are spontaneous or unexpected that spontaneity will almost always be enough to keep the excitement alive in your relationship i promise you but once again remember it never needs to be deliberate our natural tendency is to stick to patterns and routines that's how humans do best you need to break out of it by making a conscious effort all right let's get to the final mistake now which is mistake number six fighting to win arguments are an inevitable part of relationships no matter how well you guys get along they will happen they're going to happen now a common instinct many guys and even girls have in this situation is to argue and win to want to win to prove their point to be right this can be really terrible for any relationship because it paints your partner as the enemy you're against them and creates bitterness and resentment and animosity and what's worse is that with enough disagreements and fights and winning, this resentment can keep building on and on and on and up and up and up to the point where one partner says enough is enough and decides to leave the other person because they just can't handle it anymore. Now, the only way to make sure that this doesn't happen is to change your mindset about arguments. Instead of focusing on being right, you need to focus on finding a solution to the problem at hand so that both people are being heard. The best way to do it is to get crystal clear on what you really want and what she really wants, understanding she's not trying to kill you, then figure out how you both can get your needs met. And trust me, there's always a way to do that if you look hard enough. You just have to be patient and willing to try and hear the other side. Now, before I end this video, there's one more thing that you should know. You see, if your goal is to have a long lasting and fulfilling relationship with a wonderful woman, a woman of your choice, yes, you should avoid these six mistakes at all costs. But another equally important thing that you have to do and should do is to discover how to really connect with a woman emotionally and physically because without that, you can't really get a girl to be with you in a serious relationship. Unless a girl feels that strong connection with you, she won't open up to you and reveal things to you. She won't devote herself to you. And there, and there will always be a chance that she loses interest in you and, and leaves and finds somebody else. But the good news is, since you're already here, you're watching this video, you can click the link in the description and check out my program Beyond attraction. It's a simple step-by-step -step guide about, about forming an everlasting connection with any woman of your choice. It shows you how to go one layer deeper than attraction and form a strong emotional bond that makes a girl devote herself to you and never ever think about leaving you. Not only that, but it also shows you easy ways to keep a relationship hot and full of passion. That means once you do these simple things that really are so simple, your girl is gonna feel so turned on and excited by you that she'll never be bored, lose interest, or stop wanting to be with you. In simple words, she'll be yours forever. Her heart, her other parts, yours. So if you'd like to, for that to happen, just hit the link in the description box and check out my program, Beyond Attraction. You're gonna discover the secrets that no dating guru ever talks about. Secrets to a happy, sexually charged, and unbreakable relationship. If you enjoyed this video, you're gonna be blown away by Beyond Attraction. So click the link in the description and have a look at it right now. And I'll see you again next week.